So late last year, one of my subscribers made a comment that their trail running shoes are made by Zero, Zero brand shoes. And I thought, Zero, who's Zero? Welcome to the Ageless Runner, I'm Ralph. Well, the first thing I did, of course, was do an internet search and went to the Zero brand website. And what they do is they make barefoot uh, shoes, barefoot or minimalist shoes for walking and running. They're meant to mimic barefoot, as if you're walking and running barefoot. Now they make running shoes, hiking shoes, casual shoes, sandals, all those, but their shoes are very flexible. They're meant to bend very flexibly and provide some protection with some soles on them, but to mimic as if you're walking around barefoot. So I was kind of intrigued by that and actually sent them an email because I wear custom orthotics. I have very high arches. Uh, podiatrist recommended and prescribed those for me many years ago because of an issue of plantar fasciitis. So I didn't know, well, what shoe should I get? If I want to try them, what shoe should I get if I want to put an orthotic in it? So I actually emailed them, asked them that question. They were very nice, responded, gave me a little uh, description about their shoes and said they're really meant to mimic walking. And if you put, and so they're very flexible. So if you put an orthotic in there, you're going to restrict some of that movement and maybe you're losing the value of getting barefoot or minimalist running shoes. But it also gave me some links of some information on their website, some other website about you know, barefoot running, barefoot walking, minimalist shoes, and so forth. But I already decided, you know, I have to try these things, but, but I kind of dragged my feet. And while I was dragging my feet, waiting to decide what I wanted to do, I did some of this research and read some of their articles, some of their links to some of the other websites, and I learned a couple of things. One is that some of the studies out there suggest that orthotics don't really benefit you if you have flat feet or high arches like I do and wear orthotics. They may not really be benefiting you, except, and the one exception is, you have pain in your foot. If you have pain in your foot, then your orthotics help because they support you while you're getting over that pain. The other thing I learned was that the, the kind of the thought of these barefoot running shoes and allowing your foot to flex is that it'll make your feet stronger. The shoes we wear today uh, kind of restrict our movement and support our arches so much that our arches don't flex. And when they don't flex, they get weaker. So I was, kind of, again, intrigued by that and decided I'm going to order. They actually recommended, recommended their model called the Prio. And so I was going to order those. But again, I was screwing around with other things, didn't get to it. And I'm glad I didn't because they come out with a new shoe in the 1st of March. Their, their Prio, they had a new model called the Neo Prio. And I'm glad I waited because they were on sale for 20% off. So they normally retail for 100. These are 80 and with, you know, a little bit of shipping, a little bit of tax. I got a new pair of running shoes for 91 bucks and that's, that's a pretty good deal. So this is the Neo Prio and I got kind of a, a gray version here and I want to compare that a little bit to my Ultra Provisions. That's my normal road running shoe that I've been wearing for, I don't know, about three or four months now, and, and I really like it a lot. So one thing you'll notice about the Neo Prio, it does have a little larger toe box. Not as large as my Ultra Provisions, but still plenty of room in here for um, you know your toes to splay out as you run. Now one thing, when I took these out of the box and looked at them, of course they look smaller than my Ultras. You can compare those two, they look smaller. And I thought, oh, these things must be really light. So I decided I would go weigh these things and I wear size 11 running shoes. So my Ultras weigh 9.9 .9 ounces and the Neos weigh 9.4. So there's only a half an ounce difference. So there's more of a visual look to it being smaller, maybe lighter than it actually is. That's less than 5%, it's about 5% percent weight difference. Now I think the reason it's a little deceiving is because again they're, they're kind of shorter in this in this direction because it has such thinner thinner soles here. And these are also zero drop or zero offset shoes meaning the heels and the toes sit in the same plane just like my ultra provisions they are also zero drop and I like zero drop shoes zero offset shoes so I do that. Now the upper here is a mesh it's very very flexible very very light but durable not too much different, uh, in my opinion, from my Ultra Provisions. I'm, I'm sure there could be different materials, but but they're 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 very similar in feel and, and uh, fit. Um, they also have this strap on the side, which kind of loops into the lacing system. So when you cinch it up, it helps the mesh, the upper conform around your foot. It conforms very well. Now, one thing this does not have, most a lot of running shoes, and my Ultra in particular, have this extra eyelet in the back. That's for doing a heel lock lacing. The Prio does not. There is no second eyelet hole up here. So if you need the, you know, that heel lock lacing because you have a narrow heel, this, this might be a problem for you. It's, I've never had that problem, uh, so it's not an issue with me. My heel doesn't slip in using these. So even though this shoe looks smaller, 
Uh, and, but it's not all that much lighter than my, provi my provision, even though the provision's got that real thick stack height. By the way, the stack height in my provision is about 28 millimeters. The stack height in this is about five and a half. And then there's a, like about a three milli millimeter uh, thick insole in here. You can see right here. That fits in there, so that adds, you know, that makes the total cushion on your feet about eight to nine millimeters compared with, you know, maybe a little over 28 with an insole in my provision. So, it's, but it's only half an ounce difference. Why is it? I think it's the material in the sole. I don't know what it is. I couldn't find any information, but I think it's a more dense material. It's very robust feeling. Uh, in fact, if you go to their website, you will see that they have a 5,000 mile guarantee on this sole here. 5,000 miles. So. Probably you'll wear out the rest of the shoe before you ever wear out the sole. So it's very robust, uh, very durable. Like I said, I think it's probably a little denser material than, than in a standard running shoe. Which brings up how they feel when you run. So I've done two runs in these. I've got about five miles. So this is kind of an initial impression. I may do a follow-up in a couple months when I get 50 or 60 miles on these to tell you what I think. When I first started running in these, it, it felt a little different because it's like go out and run barefoot. It's kind of like your gait's a little different, though your, your, your foot strike's a little different. It took me a little bit, you know, uh, I don't know, maybe halfway through my run before I felt like I was running properly in these shoes. And then by the end of the run, I felt like I was running normal. Staying in my second run, it, it didn't take long. I first started running, oh yeah, I don't have these, I don't have these uh, high stack height shoes on my feet. I got run a little different and I, you know, started getting my heel strike, you know, right where I wanted and everything was fine. It didn't take very long in the second run. Now, the only thing I've noticed so far, and it's, it, for me, like I said, I had problem, problems with plantar fasciitis. In fact, I tore the plantar fascia in my right foot again about five years ago. So I do have a little bit of heel discomfort in my right foot in my plantar fascia. Maybe in, from running these shoes, I don't know yet. I'm starting to do my uh, uh, calf stretches and other exercises for that. We'll see where that goes. So maybe maybe I can't run in this shoe without my insert. Maybe I'll have to put my orthotic insert in here to run with them. But I'm interested in trying them. I'm interested in strengthening my feet. Maybe I just need to take it a little easy with these. I don't see myself running in a long run with these for a long time, if ever. Uh, but I do see this as a short run shoe, and I may use this for short runs, assuming my my heel problem resolves itself here in the next next week or so. So my initial impressions are favorable. I think it's a well-made shoe. It looks nice. It feels nice. You really get a lot of ground feel on this. In fact, you'll notice if you if you use these, you'll, you'll feel little rocks and little pebbles on the street. You just feel them more because of the thinner insole than you do in, in, in a normal standard uh, higher stack height shoe. So they feel good, they run well. We'll see how it goes in the next few months and I'll get back with you. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please scroll down and hit that like icon. Those likes really help my channel grow. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe icon also. Thank you so much and happy running.